We are in one of the most famous chapels of the world, and its fame is well merited. What other chapel can boast of such a team of artists to bring alive the stories of our salvation on its walls? Botticelli, Ghirlandaio, Michelangelo, and the list goes on. As Elizabeth Lev mentioned earlier in our program, we have the visionary Pope to thank for this magnificent chapel. Pope Sixtus IV, after whom the Sistine Chapel is named. The year was 1475, a jubilee year, when Pope Sixtus called upon some of the greatest frescoes in the world to come to Rome and to work their wonders here in this chapel. At that time, these walls were empty, waiting for the artistic talent of these frescoists to be unleashed. And unleashed it was. In just six months, all 12 of the lateral frescoes were finished, a dizzying pace. We ask ourselves still today, how was it possible to finish so quickly? It was because of hard work, ingenuity, and working as a team. Each one of the artists had their own staff to help them pick out the colors and to work together with the other artists to establish unity in the chapel. In 1984, Pope John Paul II decided that it was time to restore these frescoes to their original glory. It was a historic and unprecedented restoration, lasting 15 years with teams of experts from all over the world following each painstaking step of the process. The Vatican's own restoration experts Maestro De Luca, a Dr. Arnold Nesserath and their teams deserve the largest part of the credit, but no less important was the generosity of the patrons of the arts in the Vatican museums, who gave of their resources to support the restoration of these murals on the lateral walls. Now restoring a fresco is much different than, say, restoring an oil painting because of the special way that frescoes are made. Before the restoration could begin here in the Sistine Chapel, years of preparation were needed. First, studies of the status of conservation were completed using specialized cameras, x-rays, and chemical tests, which gave the Vatican restoration team an in-depth knowledge of the status of the frescoes and the chemical makeup of the pigments used. The condition of the frescoes was found to be exceptionally good, despite the obvious layer of dirt and debris which the passing of over five centuries had left behind. The process of bringing these masterpieces back to life begins with a simple dusting with very soft brushes to remove loose debris. Second, a saline solution with distilled water is applied and left to sit for two minutes. Then Japanese paper is used to absorb the dirt. This is done two times, and then other techniques can be used to remove more stubborn stains. Once the surface is cleaned, areas that were missing paint or pigments are refilled, but in a way as to make clear that it is a posterior addition. Once the final product is finished, patrons have the privilege of seeing the fruits of their generosity on their own private English-speaking tours. What satisfaction knowing that your generosity is going to help the Holy Father and the Vatican technicians maintain this vast and splendid collection for all of humanity for centuries to come. As always, due recognition was placed in thanksgiving to the patrons of the arts in the Vatican museums at the entrance of the Sistine Chapel.